Hi everyone and welcome to the video. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can add Office 365 licenses to your Fastos account. So before we go any further, just a couple of things to note to save your time. First up, uh, we're not going to actually look up look at setting up the packages so if you've already bought your licenses uh, check out one of our other videos that will help with setup this is just adding the licenses and second of all if you're planning on adding office 365 to a domain that you've already got a hosting package for with us and there are existing mailboxes on that domain so it could be mail light mail extra um, it could be exchange 2013 any of those mailboxes you're not going to be able to add office 365 to that domain until you remove all the existing mailboxes so with that out of the way let's get started so first things first we need to log into our account so go to fastos.co.uk and just go to the login area and it's the control panel you want to log into and then just log in using your usual username and password and once this is loaded uh, it would just take a second normally here we go we'll just go to the email and office 365 area and go to add email package just here Now from here we can add uh, the mailboxes, so standard email we want to ignore that and that's what I say, if you've got any kind of standard email addresses in the account it's not going to, uh, you're not going to be able to set up Office 365 on that domain. So we've got two choices here, Exchange Essentials and Office 365. Now I'm not going to go into details about the differences between the two, but very briefly Office 365 Business Premium is going to give you all the other Microsoft apps, so things like Word, um, Exchange Essentials is just the mailboxes. So I'm going to go ahead and by Exchange Essentials here. So here we've got the uh, setup screen so we can choose to add more licenses if we want. Uh, if you add 5 plus you get a discount as well. Uh, I'm just going to add one in this video though and also you can uh, choose the business premium from here if you wanted to. Now contract we've got a few choices so pay monthly no contract if we choose that that's going to increase the cost if we go pay monthly 12 month contract that's going to change it to that but you're in a 12 month contract for that one so you can't close it before the 12 month contract's up and you can pay up front as well if you'd like to as well so we'll just go with the pay monthly 12 month contract and continue so here we're on the checkout process and we can just check uh, the contract details and change that if you want to and it's just going to list how many of each license you're actually buying for your self-explanatory stuff so you can choose your payment method and you've got to read through the terms and conditions and accept them confirm and pay now and that should do it usually just takes about 20 seconds to process all of that or less as it has happened there so we can go through to the setup process now if we want to again I'm not going to cover that in this video if you do choose to set up later and you want to come back to it this is just going to take you back to your dashboard and we can go back into that email area and once that's loaded we can see here we've got office 365 set up office 365 so if you need to come back to it later that's where you can find those licenses and that's all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now